Welcome to Compassion in Hour, brought to you by Christ Compassion Ministry, Church on the Hill, Atsi River. Christ Compassion Ministry brings healing to the brokenhearted and equips workers for effective ministry. May God visit you as you listen to the Word of God, brought to you by our senior pastor, Apostle Enos Rodeni. Um, uh trying to talk about the holy spirit nina rejelea kuzungumzia roho mtakatifu and um, i'm going back to the basics na narejelea tu mambo ya kimsingi because i realize there are many that are joining us are getting born again nimetambua kuwa kuna wale ambao wamejumuika nasi kwa mara ya kwanza vile vile kuokoka and um, they need to know these foundations na wanapaswa kufahamu misingi hii So I know that some of us these are uh, foundational. Ninaelewa kuwa kuna wale ambao watachukulia hili kuwa la msingi. But you the Holy Spirit will always re- re- reveal a new thing to you. Lakini roho wake Bwana atapata kukuelekeza katika jambo jipya. So open your heart and your ears. Hivyo basi ufungue moyo wako na masikio yako pia. Amen. Now because um, these foundations are good for us to hear and if you can write please get a notebook and a pen to write if you didn't carry one today please you can write on your phone but next sunday misingi hii ni bora iwapo taandika mahali iwapo na kitabu lakini jumapili ijayo make sure you have a notebook and a pen hakikisha kuwa una kalamu na kitabu vile vile so these are there are those things that we say listen haya ni mambo ambayo tunakuelekeza spirit uyasikilize kwa roho yako but there are those things that we want you to write so that you can go and read it again vile vile kuna mambo ambayo unatarajiwa kurejelewa baada ya kuiandika amen amina the holy spirit roho mtakatifu now the foundation of talking about the holy spirit msingi wa kuzungumzia roho mtakatifu is salvation ni wokovu our foundation should first be in christ msingi wetu unapaswa kuwa katika kristo kwanza who is the source of our salvation ambaye ndiye chemichemi ya ya wokovu wetu as we talk about the holy spirit kadri tunavyozungumzia roho mtakatifu salvation is the foundation of talking about the holy spirit Wokovu ndio msingi wa kuzungumzia Roho Mtakatifu. Salvation is the foundation of being baptized in the Holy Spirit. Wokovu ndio msingi wa kubatizwa katika Roho Mtakatifu. It is important that every member every disciple I don't want to use the word member every disciple Ni muhimu basi kwa kila mfuasi every Christian Christian does not mean those who have the name called John and Peter kwa kila mkristo sio kwa jina tu la kikristo but those who are christ like bali walio na mfano wa kristo every one of those people who are christ like who wote walio na mfano wa kristo born again wale waliookoka who have received jesus as lord walio mpokea kristo kuwa bwana it is important that they are baptized ni muhimu kwao ya kuwa wamebatizwa kwa Roho Mtakatifu and the evidence of being baptized is to speak in other tongues na ipibati ya kubatizwa kwa Roho Mtakatifu ni kwa kuzungumza kwa That's the kwa very nini. first evidence it's not the only one it's the first evidence ndio dhihirisho la kwanza katika maisha ya Mkristo and the foundation of being baptized na msingi wa kubatizwa is to be born again ni kuokoka Acts chapter 19 verse number 1 Matendo ya mitume 19 So number 1 it says And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth Paul having passed through the upper coast came to Ephesus and finding certain disciples Ikawa Apollo alipokuwa Korintho Paulo akiisha kupita kati ya nchi za juu akafika Efeso akakutana na wanafunzi kadha wa kadha huko So he found certain disciples. Aliwakuta wafuasi. Disciples are people who are following after Christ. Wafuasi ni watu wanaoenenda katika njia ya Kristo. 
So this story, the end of this story is about being baptized in the spirit and Paul found these people. Mwisho wa yote ni kuwa ni kupokea Roho Mtakatifu naye Mtume Paulo akawapata watu hawa and these people were disciples. Na watu hawa wakawa ni wafuasi. Jesus commanded us to make disciples. Yesu alituamuru tufanye wafuasi. A people who believe in Jesus watu wanao muamini Kristo and Christ is formed in them nae Kristo kufanyika ndani yao and they are serving Jesus nao wakamtumikia Yesu and they are walking according to the likeness of Jesus na kuenenda kulingana na njia za Kristo and they are prepared for the coming of the Lord na wanajiandaa kwa ajili ya kuja kwake disciples hawa ndio wafuasi they are not members of a church. See what wa kanisa. See we have to come out of that word member. Tunapaswa kujiondoa katika sehemu ya kujiita watu. Come to the word disciple. Tujiondoe kujiita washirika bali disciple is in church because they know wafuasi wamo kanisani kwa maana wanafahamu the purpose kusudi of being in church la kuwa kanisani is Christ. Ni Kristo that they are a member of a family of Christ kuwa wao ni moja wapo wa I'm here because of Christ nipo hapa kwa ajili ya Kristo I'm a member of a family of Christ mimi ni miongoni mwa familia au jamii ya Kristo and Christ is in me nae Kristo yuo ndani and my yangu. life is fashioned after Christ na maisha yangu yanaambatana na Kristo and I'm going to church to hear about Christ na kwa wakati ninapomsikia kuhusu Kristo to prepare me ili aniandae to be better in his likeness ili kuboreka katika to jibu. serve him while i'm on earth ili kumtumikia kikamilifu and to be ready for his return na kuwa tayari kwa marejeo yake these are disciples hao ni wafuasi so 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 paul was talking to disciples hivyo basi paulo alikuwa akizungumza na wafuasi members can leave anytime washirika wanaweza wakaondoka wakati wote disciples will follow forever ila wafuasi watakufuata daima disciples are Wa, consistent wafuasi wana utaratibu disciples are committed wafuasi wana mtindo mmoja disciples mmoja. understand the assignment wanaelewa jukumu lao mahususi that's why we make hivyo basi tunawaandaa wafuasi we make disciples tunawaandaa wafuasi to be like christ wawe kama to christ to serve christ wamtumikie as they serve in the church the family ambavyo wanaenenda katika familia they are convinced wanashawishika they are serving christ ya kwamba wanamtumikia kristo not christ. the apostle wala si mtume christ ni kristo and as they are serving na katika hali hiyo they are also convinced wanashawishika they are prepared ya kuwa wanaandalika of christ kwa ajili ya marejeo ya kristo members can be temporary washirika si wakodumu disciples are permanent wafuasi ni wakodumu amen amina so he was speaking to disciples hivyo basi alikuwa akizungumza kwa if you are a disciple lift your hand and shout amen ni mfuasi inua mkono na useme amina disciples are in season and out of season wafuasi hudumu nje na ndani ya misimu now that is disciples huo ndio ufuasi i'm going because i am a disciple ninaenda kwa maana mimi ni mfuasi members would say ah today the rain is really bad washirika huenenda kulingana na msimu i'll come next sunday nitakuja jumapili jana disciple will say lakini mfuasi atasema if i am not there iwapo sitakuepo who else will do it ni nani basi atakayefanya if i am not there iwapo sitakuwa who pali. else will be there basi nani mwingine atakuwa pale it is expedient for me to be there ni i am the person muhimu na jambo la maana kuwa pale badala ya mtu mwingine that is the disciple huo ndio ufuasi amen amina that is the disciple huyo ndiye mfuasi disciples understand the assignment mfuasi au wafuasi huelewa jukumu lao understand the cause and the purpose mfuasi huelewa kusudi na gharama disciples knows the heart of jesus mfuasi anaelewa roho ya kristo disciples are not fashioned according to the fashion of this world mfuasi hainendi kulingana na mitindo ya dunia disciples are after christ 
nafasi huenenda kwa ajili ya kumpata Kristo. So Paul was talking to disciples. Kwa hivyo Paulo alikuwa akizungumza na wafuasi. Look at number, verse number 2 what he tells the disciples. Katika aya ya pili He said unto them Akawauliza Have you received the Holy Ghost? Je, mlipokea Roho Mtakatifu since you believed? Mlipoamini. Disciples believe Wafuasi huamini. Disciples are believers. Wafuasi huwa na imani. They believe in Christ. Wanamwamini Kristo. They believe in his vision. Wanaamini katika maono yake. They believe yake. in his assignment. Wanaenenda kulingana and na kusudi lake. And they do lake. the assignment unto Jesus. Na kulifanya kusudi kulingana na mapenzi ya Kristo. So he asked them since you believe. Naye anawauliza tangu mlipoamini. What do we believe? Mnaamini nini? We believe in Jesus. Tunamwamini Kristo. And that is what we call salvation. Na huo ndio uitwao uokovu. Or being born again. Basi kufanyika mpya. So he saying since you believed. Tangu mlipoamini. Have you received the Holy Ghost? Je, mmempokea Roho Mtakatifu? In other words, katika hali nyingine hiyo, everyone who is born again yeyote ambaye ameokoka must be baptized anapaswa must receive the holy ghost anapaswa kumpokea roho mtakatifu it is expected ni jambo linalo azimiwa it is expected inatarajiwa for everyone who has believed kwa kila mmoja anayeamini to receive the holy ghost kumpokea roho mtakatifu it is wrong ni makosa It is wrong. Si sahihi katu. For those who are born again. Kwa wale waliookoka. To stay kuishi without being baptized. Bila kubatizwa in the Holy Ghost. Katika Roho Mtakatifu. It is mtakatifu. expected. Ni matarajio. Everyone who has believed. Ya kwamba yeyote ambaye ameamini be baptized. Anapaswa kubatizwa in the Holy Ghost. Kwa Roho Mtakatifu. So Paul is asking. Paulo anauliza. Since you believed Tangu mlipoamini have you received the holy ghost je mmempokea roho mtakatifu and they said to him wakajibu we have not so much as heard whether there is any holy ghost la hata kusikia kwamba kuna roho mtakatifu hatukusikia in other words paul was telling them vinginevyo alikuwa akiwaeleza you qualify mnapaswa mnahitimu because you believed kwa maana mnaamini you qualify Mnafuzu. because your foundation is in Jesus Christ. Kwa maana misingi yenu imo ndani ya Kristo. So the only qualification. Hivyo basi kigezo cha muhimu. No, the only one. Kigezo kikuu cha pekee that you need to have to be baptized in the Holy Ghost. Unachopaswa kuwa nacho ili ubatizwe kwa Roho Mtakatifu is to be born again. Ni kuokoka. Once you're born again. Mradi umesha and to be born again means you believe in your heart. Na kuokoka ni kuamini kwa roho yako. You confess with your mouth. Na kuungama kwa kinywa chako. That Jesus Christ is Lord. Ya kwamba Kristo ni bwana. The son of God. Ni mwana wa Mungu. And God has raised him from the dead. Na Mungu amemfufua kutoka kwa wafu. You're born again. Umeokoka. Once you've done that. Mradi umeshafanya hivyo. You qualify. Basi umetimiza. To be baptized. Kuwa umebatizwa Why am I saying that? Mbona nasema hivi? Because the devil will cheat and lie to some of us. Kwa maana ibilisi atawadanganya wengine wetu and say to them like this. Na kutueleza labda. But don't you remember how much you anger you Jee, have? Kumbuki unavyo nungunika. Don't you know how bitter you are? Hujui namna ulivyo na machungu. But don't you know you don't pay your tithe? Hujui kuwa ulipi zaka yako? Don't you know how bad you are a believer? Hujui namna ulivyo muumini aliye mbaya. You feel in you. Hivyo basi unahisi ndani kwa ndani. Oh I don't deserve. Ya kwamba hufai. baptized. Sifai kubatizwa. Or you are born again. Au umeokoka. But you are still struggling with smoking cigarette. Lakini bado wahangaikia uvutaji wa sigara. So you say. Hivyo basi wasi. I just smoked cigarette last night. Nimevuta sigara usiku ni baptized in the Holy Spirit. Sipasi kubatizwa kwa Roho Mtakatifu. You're born again. 
Meokoka. You smoked cigarette last night. Wavuta sigara usi. You can't usi. be baptized. Bado ungali unaweza kubatizwa. That sounds very bad. Hilo ni jambo ambalo linaonekana baya mno. Sounds very unchristian. Linaonekana baya katika macho ya Mkristo. The truth is here. Lakini ukweli ni huu. You need to be baptized. Unapaswa kubatizwa. By the Holy Spirit. Kwa Roho Mtakatifu. To help you ili to stop the temptation of smoking cigarette. Utengane na vishawishi vya kuvuta sigara. You need to be baptized. Unapaswa kubatizwa. By the Holy Spirit. Kwa Roho Mtakatifu. To help you overcome the sin of bitterness and anger. Machungu yote na hasira need to come out of anger and bitterness fast so that you are baptized. Upasi kujiondoa katika kinyongo the, ama hasira ili ubatizwe. Is the other way round. Ni vinginevyo. You need to be baptized. Unapaswa kubatizwa. To help you come out. Ili kupata uwezo wa kuinuka tena. The day you got born again you did not you did not get you did not automatically leave your anger and your bitterness and your and your and your and your smoking. Siku ulipo batizwa hukuacha tu mambo haya mara moja. You got born again. Uli bati, uli you gave your life to Jesus. Na kumpokeza Kristo maisha. But you have these things in your life. Lakini ungali na mambo haya maisha ni mwako. That has never left you. Ambayo hayajakuacha. You need the Holy Ghost. Bado una mhitaji Roho Mtakatifu. And the Holy Spirit is willing to come to you. Naye Roho Mtakatifu bado ana. Because he knows you love Jesus. You gave your life to Christ. Unahitaji kumpokeza Kristo maisha yako tena. You gave your life to Christ. Ulimpa Kristo maisha yako. So the Holy Ghost wants to come and help you. Hivyo basi Roho Mtakatifu yu tayari kuja kukusaidia. So that you can live a victorious Christian life. Ili ukaishi maisha ya ushindi ndani ya Kristo. Where you don't want to go back to smoking again. Wakati ambapo uhisi tena kuvuta sigara. You don't live in anger and bitterness again. Wala kuishi katika hasira wala kinyongo. Amen. Amina. I hope I'm helping you so if anyone tells you no you don't deserve you don't Natumai say kusaidia hivi kwamba mtu anapokueleza kwamba ufai uhisi kwa umejasirika Amen Amina You see the moment you get born again Pindi tu unapompokea Kristo You are You don't now try to be rashes Hujaribu tena kuwa mkamilifu. Say, the Lord made him who knew no sin to become sin. Biblia inatufunza kuwa yule ambaye hakufahamu dhambi afanyike afanyike dhambi, afanyike wa kuonekana. That we may become ya kwamba tukafanyike upi. the righteousness of God. Wakamilifu machoni pa Mungu. Amen. Amina. And the Bible again says Tena Biblia inasema that he us who received the gift of righteousness ya kwamba sisi tunaopokea thawabu ya ukamilifu we receive tunapokea we don't work it out to be righteous hatungangani ili kuwa wakamilifu we receive bali tunapokea free Buri. the gift of righteousness a gift a gift thawabu you don't fight for it you are just given you receive paso kuipigania bali waipokea tu Then he said those of us who receive the gift of rasa shall reign with Christ. Basi ni waeleze kuwa wale watu wanaopokea ukamilifu watadumu katika utawala. By being born again Christ becomes our righteousness. Hivyo basi kupitia kwa wokovu Kristo anafanyika So by faith kwetu. kupitia kwa imani you walk in righteousness. Unaenenda katika ukamilifu. Amen. Amina. By being born again you walk under the law of life in Christ Jesus. Kupitia kwa wokovu unaenenda katika sheria ya maisha ndani ya Kristo. And not the law of condemnation. Wala si sheria ya huju ya kutuhumiwa. So the Bible says there is therefore now no condemnation. Hivyo basi neno linasema kuwa hakuna kuhukumiwa kwa wale wote walio ndani ya Kristo. Who walk after the law of life of of life in Christ. Wale wanaoenenda katika sheria ndani ya Kristo. Amen. Amina. 
For Christ has set us free from the law of sin and death. Kwa maana Kristo ametuweka huru dhidi ya sheria ya mauti. So you are, you are free from condemnation. Hivyo basi uko huru dhidi ya hukumu. So you can fall in sin. Hivyo basi waweza kuenda katika dhambi. But you come up quickly and say I am born again. Lakini waweza kurejea tena. Christ forgive me for what I have just done. But I am Christo born again. Samaha. You did not stop being born again because you fell in sin. Hukuacha kuwa mwokovu kwa maana ulianguka katika dhambi. The Bible says we fall in sin. Kwa maana Biblia yatufunza kuwa kwa maana umefeli katika dhambi. We can go to ask for forgiveness. Basi waweza kurejea katika kuomba still remain born again. Kwa maana tumesalia kuwa wokovu bado. And then we need the Holy Spirit to help us overcome sin. Hivyo basi tunamhitaji Roho Mtakatifu ili kushinda dhambi. So I'm trying to say that the foundation of being baptized is salvation. Ninajaribu kusema kuwa msingi mkuu wa Roho Mtakatifu ni kumpokea Kristo. Is not the level of your holiness. Wala sio kiwango cha utakatifu wako. Amen. Amina. We we get born again and we immediately and we are justified. Pindi tu tunapo We are made just. We are haki. made just. Tunafanywa wa haki. We are made just. Tunafanywa wa haki. But we continue in the process of sanctification. Lakini tunazidi katika njia ya utakasaji. To be like Christ. Ili kuwa kama Kristo. And that is why you the, the fellow got born again and sneaked and went and smoked cigarette. Ndio maana bado mtu anaweza kama ameokoka lakini bado anarejea. He is walking. He was Ane, justified yesterday. Alifanywa mwenye haki hapo jana. He needs to be he needs to be continue the process of sanctification. Lakini bado anapaswa kuenda katika njia ya utakaso. Holy Spirit will help him. Kupitia kwa nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu anayemsaidia. So you need the Holy Spirit to help you. If you basi unamhitaji Roho Mtakatifu akusaidie. Because you're born again you qualify to be baptized. Lakini kwa maana umeshabatizwa na kumpokea Kristo. So he says when since you believed have you been baptized? Anasema kuwa ukishaamini kuwa umeshabatizwa. And they say they've not even heard about the Holy Spirit. Wanasema kuwa hawakumsikia hata Roho Mtakatifu. Verse number 5 and when they heard this. Waliposikia haya they were baptized in the name of the lord jesus wakabatizwa kwa jina la bwana yesu did you read there nilisoma pale when did they get baptized je walibatizwa lini when did they get baptized walibatizwa lini when they so have you heard now je umesikia hilo have you heard now umesikia hilo so that means by faith now hilo la maanisha kwamba kwa imani you are baptized wewe umebatizwa this is the problem hapa ndipo palipo na tatizo because we have been taught that until you sweat and jump kwa maana tumefunzwa ya kwamba lazima ungangane you are not baptized so when they heard waliposikia they were baptized wakabatizwa but verse number 6 lakini katika aya when paul laid his hands upon them na paulo alipokuisha the holy ghost mkuu. came on them alipokuisha and they spoke mkuu. with the tongues Akaja and prophesied kisha katabiri now that word the holy spirit came on them punde tu alipofanya vile mtakatifu akaja kwao means maanisha the holy spirit manifested in them roho mtakatifu alijidhihirisha kwao but when did they get baptized punde tu alipo when they heard at the punde, point they heard punde tu waliposikia they were baptized wakao wamebatizwa amen amina but it manifested when he laid his hands on them alionekana tu baada ya kuwekewa mikono are you there now what it means is maanisha It says verse number 5 when they understood this they were baptized waliposikia hayo wakabatizwa when they understood this they were baptized in the authority of Jesus waliposikia haya wakabatizwa kwa jina la anointed one aliyempa kwa mafuta and when paul laid his hands on each of them the 12 na paulo alipokuisha kuweka mikono yake the holy spirit manifested roho mtakatifu akadirisha and the manifestation of the holy spirit is speaking in tongues ni kuzungumza and prophesying na kutabiri somebody shout amen amina so as you are sitting there na tunaposoma and you have heard and you have understood na kusikia 
believe it. You are baptized. Amen. Amina. Don't believe in the laying of the hand. The laying of the hand does not bring the Holy Spirit. What brings the Holy Spirit? No, no, no. What brings the Holy Spirit? You are hearing, you are understanding, and you are receiving by faith. Makes you be baptized. My laying on of hands releases an impartation that brings manifestation. That manifestation is speaking in tongues. Amen. Amina. And these were the people who had believed. Now quickly let me say something else again. I'm trying tena. to stress the fact that the foundation is salvation. Kuwa msingi ni wokovu, which is found in Christ. Colossians chapter Christ. 2 verse number 6. Wakolosai mbili sita. Up to 10. Hadi. And you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord. Ambao mempokea Christu buwana. So walk in him. Rooted and built up in him. And established in the faith. As you have been taught. Abounding in it with thanksgiving. Be rooted in Christ. Stay in Christ. Get your foundation in Christ. Let all about your life be Christ. Beware. Lest anyone cheat you. Through philosophy and empty deceit. So one of those things would be like, if I don't lay my hands on you, Miongoni wa maswala haya nikuwa nisipowekewa mkono basi sitapokea roho mtakatifu. Ni makosa. Because in Acts chapter number 2. Hivyo basi katika matendo ya mitume ya mlango wa pili. When they were in the upper room and they gathered together. katika chumba kilichofungwa. No hakuna yeyote aliyemwekea mwenzio mkono. Lakini walibatizwa. Amen. Amina. So let no one cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit. According to the tradition of men. According to the basic principles of the world. And not according to Christ. According to Christ. That is the foundation. Somebody lift your hand and shout amen. Christ. Christo. Christ. Christo. Don't be in church and then they come to tell you, you know, according to our family, we Us, do it this way. Usiwe kanisani kisha ukadanganyika, ukasema, kulingana na familia yetu tofanya hivi. You've lost the way. Utapote njia. According to Christ. Kulingana na Christo. For in him, ni kupitia kwake. Dwells all the fullness of the Godhead tunapata kupokea uungu and you are completing him na unafanyika mkamilifu ndani yake is the head of all principality and power ndio mwisho wa misingi yote mibaya in christ christo dwells god the father the son and the holy spirit anaishi katika mungu and baba you mwana na roho mtakatifu nawe are complete unakamilika in christ ndani ya christo amen amina can I say that again? You, wewe, with your name, whom you are, kwa jina lako, you wewe, are complete unafanyika mkamilifu in Christ. Katika Christo. You don't need anything else to make you complete. Chochote kile. You are complete Bali unakamilika in Christ. Katika Christo. Christ. Christ all in all. We trust that you have been blessed for prayer. Call us on the numbers appearing on the screen. Join us again on the Compassionate Hour next Sunday, same time. God bless you and do have a very victorious week.